Hey everybody, welcome to It's All About The Cocktail. So it's been a while since I ran out of my Velvet Flarenum. Finally got me some more to start. Now Velvet Flarenum, John D. Taylor Velvet Flarenum, is not is a product of Barbados, and it's not real expensive. Velvet just refers to the fact that it's silky texture. It's made with ginger, lime, cloves, allspice, and almonds. It's pretty similar to Orzat, but whereas Orzat stops by the infusion of the almonds, this brings to you the spice of the ginger, the allspice, the cloves, and has a little bit more spicier, spicier flavor to it. And you find this in a lot of tiki drinks, same as Orzat. Same as Orzat. They're not really interchangeable, but they're all, they kind of got their own little special taste to it. Now, I know Rob's home bar had a thing where you make your own, but that's, that's why it could evolve for me. I tried this was this was like seventeen bucks for a seven fifty. Look at how look at how much there is in there. But anyways, now that I got this, I want to show you some nice easy drinks. I mean, the whole idea of this channel is simple cocktails at home. I mean, I'm not gonna think of weird far off ingredients that you don't know where to get or if you're gonna use again. I hate that. And also, it's not not weird things you never heard of. This is this is easily this this you can find in a lot of different places. Okay. So, the, the plan of making it yourself seems a bit too involved for me. So, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to Rob's, Rob's uh, recipe, but this works for me. Now, I want to show you something very easy. Go back to the roots of the channel. It's a simple cocktail at home. So, this is a very simple cocktail called a corn and oil. Corn and oil is just velvet flirtum. Uh, a lot of times, you use a, a, a black strap rum, okay? Now, use the black strap rum and a little lime. I happen to think if you're using and, and a little bit of bitters. Now, I happen to think that if you're using a quality rums, you don't really need the, the black strap. I mean, I think you, I think you can, you can do better than this. I was sitting there thinking, what can I do to make this drink better? How can I make this drink better? The way I think I can make this better is use some quality rums, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use some quality rums in my above at and I'm gonna show you my corn oil. So stick with me, I'll be with you in just a bit. Okay everybody, welcome back to It's All About The Cocktail. I am Ray O'Brien. So, the corn oil is so easy. It's such an easy drink. Easy drink to make, easy when you're in a hurry trying to figure out something to make. Usually you can make with just your, your black strap rum, your velvet flarenum, a bit of Angostura bitters and some lime. A lot of people think, even in Martin Kate's Smuggler's Cold Book, they're saying if you use quality rums, you really don't need a lot of lime, you know. So I'm just going to kind of use mine as a garnish. So if you want to use black shrimp rum, I'm not going to fault you. Black shrimp, black shrimp rum is okay, you can use that. But I think it's a little bit too sweet. When you get a, a better rum, I think it's more balanced with, without. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Velvet Flarnum, my Angostura Bitters, I'm going to use the Barbados Rum. I'm going to use the Real McCoy 5 from Barbados. And I'm also going to use, instead of the Black Strap Rum on top, now this is, is very similar to a Dark and Stormy because the oil floats on top. Now this, the corn oil has no corn or oil on there. The oil refers to the the dark, the dark rum that floats on top looks like an oil slick. I'm going to use Lemon Heart 151. <laughs> this is a great rum. This is from, this rum is from Guyana, which is kind of in the same region. It's like, what, 500 or so miles from, from Barbados. But this is a great rum. It's a little bit potent. 75.5 proof, which means it's 151 alcohol by volume. So this stuff does pack a punch. You gotta be careful with that. So I'm just gonna use like a half an ounce of that as my oil slick, my, my topper. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with an old fashioned glass, pop myself an ice cube in there for my Joey ice cube tray, and then I'm simply gonna use one and one half parts of Barbados Real McCoy 5. This stuff is great. I love this drum. Also good, very straight too. 
Then I'm just going to put my half an ounce of Velvet, John D. Taylor Velvet Flare in there. And then I'm going to kind of get that mixed together. Kind of get that mixed together. I like this, I like this little short spoon because I can stir real fast, get it cold. Then I'm just going to throw in a little bit, a little bit more than a half of Lemon Heart 151 rum in there. This stuff is great. So it kind of sits at the top like an oil slick. And we're just going to put three dashes of our Angus Star bitters in there. Trying to spill it on the mat because this stuff stains like, a, like, a, like crazy. Okay, and then as you can see, when I'm, I'm going to just take my, my line, I'm going to rub it around the rim. I'm taking the wedge, I'm just going to put like a squeeze in there, and I'm just going to kind of throw it on top there. And that's your corn and oil. Taste it ready! Oh, give that a stir ready. It's good. Give it a stir, get it cold. And on the edge and then give it a whirl give it a whirl ready oh wow Woo. that's good the lemon r 151 mix they could take an extra, extra special i think cocktail tony would like that stuff anyways if you find this video even remotely interesting i hope you would subscribe to me hit the bell next to it because then you're privy to all the videos that I've done and that are coming out and it would really help me out and definitely shoot me a comment let me know if you tried Lemon Heart 151 do you like Velvet Flarenum do you like Barbados Rum the real McCoy great rum so once again my friends just remember when you're at home at the end of the day you want something quick and you're thinking I can't think of what to make that's my problem all the time I can't think of what to make oh, what do I want a corn oil is simple easy and it tastes great. So until next time, my friends, just remember, it is all about the cocktail.